Well, welcome friends to a collective thrift haul from our citywide rummages in our small town. So I have a lot of clothes in this one and a few home decor pieces, but I know you enjoy seeing what I find in prices. And so I thought I would just share what I got. I was in charge of, of our church's rummage that day. So most of it is from our church rummage. And there is, like I said, quite a bit of clothes for my little boy, uh, my oldest girl and myself. But I did um, stop at a different thrift store or uh, garage sale and found a few pieces there as well. So I'm just gonna share a haul with you this time. No filming of the footage of the garage sales. That'll come in other videos of um, when I go out again, but this one is just a haul, so enjoy. And let's start with the home decor first. Favorite find, this picnic basket. This is a fun picnic basket. I believe she asked a dollar for it. And what a good way to honestly have a picnic and it came with this little tablecloth this black and white checkered cloth with fringe and so two dollars for that with the clasp on top so fun i love storing toys and things like this or um in our bedroom or i could put diapers in it in our room with a wicker basket to store since that's our nursery as well but what a fun find for $2. And I just love the leather straps and the brass and it's just in great condition for a large picnic basket. All right, this is perfect for 4th of July table runner. I think I actually found this as an antique store, but this would just be ideal if you're hosting for 4th of July to put on the table. Um, with a little fringe on the end and it's kind of more cream and red checkered but I think this was three dollars at an antique store so I did have a little bit of time at an antique store a few weeks back actually so that's why this is a collective haul all right so then I found this plate at a garage sale um, I think it's German on here I'm not sure but and even the back it's from Germany so it was 50 cents just thought that'd be fun to have in my antique booth actually so I'll probably put that there or you could store your rings on it some jewelry on a dresser nightstand because it's just it's just small enough and it would sit well against a ledge so this was 50 cents All right, these are new bread bowls, but a lady at our church rummage brought them because she has like a boutique store. So um, I don't really have prices for some of these because it was a free will donation at the church rummage I was in charge of. But aren't these amazing? Just cute, kind of rustic, rustic farmhouse. They'd be great to make the candles with, decorate with a little tablescape on here, put some soaps in it, whatever you want to use. So they're a little bit different, each of them. One is more rounded and one has like the extra ends on it. So these, like most of the clothes and these and a bag I got, all I donated $30 for. So that is what I had with these. All right, and then this pillow cover. I thought this was a fun joy to the world to decorate for Christmas, either in our little guest cottage or here at my house and it's the Harmony House brand which is a really good quality um, pillow company and on to this bag is brand new and I think the brand yet yeah, bag smart so cute little pink bag perfect for like a day travel it has like a laundry bag in here and an extra handle for over your shoulder it's got some great compartments in here. Um, it's got like two zippers on the outside on that side, a zipper on the outside on this side. It just has a lot of storage for a brand new cute pink bag. It'd be great for my girls for like an overnight trip or me for an overnight trip when I travel to my parents', something like that. So wonderful bag to find at our church rummage. One more decor piece I had to pick up. This candle um, snub. What do you call it? So I thought this would be cute for decorating and to 
have out in the winter months when I have candles lit a lot more often. So again, church rummage. And then just found this little coach coin purse, probably more so for my daughter to play with because she likes little things like that. But it does have a, like a credit card holder here too. So it looks very new, but a fun little find there. Could throw it in my purse or the diaper bag, honestly, too, if I need a place to put a few credit cards. And just one pint or half pint mason jar, too. All right, then I picked up this stack of Laura Ingalls Wilder books. I think, yeah, there's a problem. She said it was all of them, but there's four of the first four years books. So I paid $10 for all of these. And then on the Banks of Plum Creek, Little House on the Prairie, here, these happy golden years. We already have some of these by the Shores of Silver Lake. So I was hoping to find the rest of them that we don't have because we've been reading to uh, our oldest four, four year old already and she's enjoying these. So I was hoping to find the rest, but I didn't. So I'll probably sell some of these because <laughs> I already have those. But $10, that was an okay price. And I thought it was all of them, but I should have looked through it better. But they're still, you know, Laura Ingalls Wilder books are great classics. All right, then I found these Chacos. I wear Chacos all the time myself. These are bigger, but I think they'll fit my sister-in-law or I will resell them on Marketplace because they're in really pretty good condition. So just a little bit more on the top. Um, yeah, they're, they're too big for me for sure. They're like a size 10. But still, like I said, just great condition and I could resell them or give them to my sister-in-law who has bigger feet. All right, now I'm gonna move on to clothes because I have it laid out on the floor. So I'll just hop through and show you what I found and share the prices if I got them at a different rummage than the church rummage and share the brand for you. All right, I'm gonna start with my clothes. I did a summer thrift clothes try on and haul a few videos back. So you can check that out if you'd like, but I did find a few more that will be great for summer months here. So this is just a, a gray, more casual tank. It's halogen brand it's got like the keyhole back and then on the bottom it has like just a slight slit so probably good for working out or working in the garden this is an old navy maternity tank actually more for nursing so that is wonderful to have since i am a nursing mama and then a few of these i don't know if i'll keep this one or not but lily and lottie um, not sure of that brand, but I think it's a boutique brand. Just another tank top. I like to wear tank tops a lot in the summer with skirts or jeans or jean shorts um, because that's just, you know, it's warm and you sweat a lot more. So it's nice to have these. And then one more Lodi or Lily and Lottie, this ribbed green tank. And I really kind of have been liking green and blues. Actually, these are all pretty neutral colors here. All right, then this was a brand new Old Navy sweater. I think this was a dollar. Um, I really like that dark green. It'll be more great for the fall than anything because I don't, and it, it is a little bit lighter weight, so that might be good for um, summer nights and fall evenings. And then this sweater I thought was really pretty. It's probably a little bit oversized. I'm not sure. It's orange, um, like a burnt orange color. It's showing up more red on camera. It's an Andre by Unit brand. And then one pair of just workout shorts um, as I only have one at home currently right now. So I just picked those up from our church rummage. All right, little boy clothes. This was fun to find because I don't have little boy clothes and he is getting big. So I needed a few things. Just this little snap on the bottom long sleeve dress shirt for fall uh, these were all 25 cents like these few things i show you here or 50 25 or 50 or from our church rummage this roar short sleeve this cute wild and cute long sleeve with a fox pair of pants each for 50 cents for like six size six months a lot of these are like carter brand i want to say this little brother sleeper pajama uh, just one U by Carter brand. Yep. This is a European brand. It says I love daddy. I thought that was really cute. That was a quarter. This was a quarter. It's really, what is the 
it's bamboo that's what i thought it's just such a unique texture so that will be nice for sleeping in cool it's very cool i think then this set was brand new and mickey mouse little set with like a little pocket here oh just really cute long long leg there short leg here of the mickey mouse here and help to wear those soon because he'll be out of that size and then these shoes these are wonderful my second daughter wore these a lot and they help with helping them um, feel the ground more so just little slipper shoes that they can wear walking all right then i needed some more cloth diaper outsides and this was from the church rummage a friend was actually getting rid of them so i did pay a little more for these like four dollars for all of them it was like four to six dollars that i just paid a friend because these are fun little boy cloth diaper exteriors blank a dinosaur blanket for 50 cents and just a little bib which i think was either free or a quarter okay lastly this is for my oldest who is pushing 5t right now and we don't have any oh stacks of play-doh for my church rummage because <laughs> our girls love play-doh so just a pair of sonoma jeggings this is going to be for fourth of july i thought this was so cute with a little tie on the back. Um, it's basic additions. Um, this is actually a size six, but I think it was worn enough times that it's a little bit smaller on her. And then this was such a cute colored dress. It's a children's place. Then I really liked this little button down, fake button down shirt. Star Ride is the brand. It's super soft. This beautiful, fun, flowy old navy dress for her with a little keyhole in the back. And lastly, this will be fun more for the fall. It's a pink violet brand. Just fun little like frou-frou stuff there with the cute pattern on top. That is all the clothes for you guys great haul and if i don't keep it all i always either resell it on facebook marketplace or gift it to someone else who needs it hope you enjoyed seeing my haul don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet as i do videos like these homemaking motherhood and simple living so i will catch you in the next video